statements, indentation, and comments with Python. Today we'll discuss statements in Python and different types of statements. We'll also learn about blank lines, indentation, and different types of comments. A simple statement is one that fits in a single logical line. A single line may contain multiple simple statements separated by semicolons. We saw this when we discussed multi-line statements. Now simple statements are of two kinds, expression statements and assignment statements. Expression statements are the ones to compute a value or to call a function, say 2 plus 3 or print hello. And assignment statements help assign values to variables. We use expression statements to compute values like 2 plus 3 into 6 or to call a procedure like calling the print statement or even the sum function. And assignment statements help us rebind names to values or even reassign values. Name is the string Ayushi, but now it's the integer 7. Now compound statements are made of many other statements. They hold one or more clauses and generally occupy multiple lines. This is a multiple assignment statement and this is swapping two values. This is an if elif ladder and is a compound statement that we've put on six lines. In Python, there's a new line character after each statement, but we can also extend a statement over multiple lines using a backslash. The first three lines here are a single statement. They set the value of a to 10 plus 20, which is 30. And this is one string we've spanned over two lines with a backslash. We could also do this with a set of parentheses. Here, we use semicolons to separate statements on one line. So we put two statements on one line here. And here, we put an if statement in one line because there's just one line of code to execute under it. Any blank lines are simply ignored by the interpreter. If you do not type anything and press enter, it will simply perform a no operation. It also ignores blank lines in any Python scripts you create. Let's talk indentation. Indentation is mandatory because there are no colons or curly braces in Python. And when you indent, you must indent everything evenly under one block. This code is wrong. You've added an extra space here. You can use any amount of indentation consistently but recommended is four white spaces. Tabs are discouraged. Comments in a programming language help explain code. They are not executed. The interpreter ignores them. Use a hash sign or an octothorp to declare a comment. If your code is properly commented, it will be easy on the next person who reads your code, and that may even be you. But unlike Java or C++, there are no multi-line comments built into Python. You must put a hash sign before each line that is part of the comment. Comments are usually placed before some code to explain it. These are three lines of comments and we've used three hash signs for it. If we're talking of comments, we also need to talk about doc strings. This stands for documentation strings. A doc string must be the first thing in a module, function, class, or method. Its purpose is to explain what it does. This is function add. It has a doc string and a return statement. To access this, we can use the doc attribute on it. Now you're familiar with the basic syntax of Python and how it all goes. Next, let's discuss why you should invest time in learning it. 